ओम शांति दिस इज़ द साकार मुरली ऑफ 23 ऑफ मे 2023 एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन फॉलो द मदर एंड फादर कंप्लीटली एंड एंड बिकम वर्दी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस एंड श्रीमद you will be able to be seated on the father's heart throne question with which with which effort can you attain liberation in life in a second answer make such effort that at the end you remember no one except the one father for this keep your intellect detached while living in your households with your families continue to forget everything and follow shrimat don't prick anyone with thorns follow the mother and father at every step if you have any weaknesses tell the eternal surgeon the truth song the birds of the new age om shanti baba explains the meaning of this song to the children it praises sita who was born in this land in fact males and females are all sitas because they are all devotees who perform devotion and remember god the brides remembered at bridegroom for what in order to become flowers it is said live like lotus flowers you now know that the father of you souls is god and that you have to receive from him the inheritance of heaven which is called liberation in life you would surely receive the inheritance of liberation in life for the golden age not for the iron age when it is said that the new world begins it means a new play is beginning when the world is old the play is also old this is now the old world in the new world there were flowers like lakshmi and narayan you know that you are now becoming flowers from thorns in order to become the masters of heaven those who use the sword of lust on one another are thorns you have the faith that the father of our souls has come once again in order to make us into the constantly happy masters of heaven you shouldn't have any confusion in this faith the father has come and also explained to this one this one says i truly didn't know that at the beginning in the golden age i was a righteous soul a righteous soul is someone who doesn't use the sword of lust a righteous soul isn't just someone who donates and performs charity whatever people do they receive the fruit of that in their next birth the donations they give are indirect they donate in the name of god just as some also donate in the name of krishna however because they consider sri krishna to be the god of the gita they have created confusion god says i only come in bharat you children know that your father has come from the supreme abode he says to us children the play is now ending remember me you were lakshmi and narayan in the silver age there are rama and sita the age in which sri krishna exists is not a different age they have said that he exists in the copper age that will also happen again The father sits here and explains to you children the essence of these scriptures. 
I do not take the Gita in my hands. I am called the ocean of knowledge. Devotees also call me the truth, the living being. People who study many Vedas and scriptures are called authorities of these scriptures. When did those Vedas and scriptures begin? On the path of devotion? This drama is eternally predestined. You wouldn't say that the Vedas and scriptures are eternal. If they were eternal, they would be said to exist from the beginning, from the golden age, of the golden age. There are no Vedas or scriptures in the golden age. They begin on the path of devotion. It is now in the Father's intellect. I am the ocean of knowledge. I alone know this human world. The Father comes and gives his own introduction. How this world cycle turns and how you take 84 births. You know that you play your parts of Sato, Rajo and Tamu for 84 births. The Father has now come and created this sacrificial fire through Brahma. You have become the children of Sib Baba through Brahma. Therefore, He is the Grandfather. There you have inheritances from your fathers. For half the cycle you wanted the inheritance of liberation and liberation in life. You didn't know what God would do when He comes for the devotees. They say God should come to you while you are sitting at home. Therefore, He would come in a big home. Your own home is too small for you. This is an unlimited home. You can't tell when God would come for the devotees. God would surely come for the devotees. Devotees are the children of God. It isn't that God is in all the devotees or that they are all God. No. The Father sits here and explains to you directly. I definitely do come. I come and give you children happiness. When people return from abroad, they bring very wonderful gifts. The father says I have brought the gift of paradise for you. You won't receive poison there. You can go to heaven by drinking this nectar of knowledge. Therefore, you definitely have to renounce poison. I do not take up any of the religious books like sannyasis, etc. do. I show you the way to become the masters of the land of peace and the land of happiness. O oh, my beloved children, the father, the one from the foreign land is speaking to souls. No one else would say I am the supreme soul and I am speaking to you souls. They say, I am the Supreme Soul and so are you. Would a father give an inheritance to a father? A father would definitely give an inheritance to his children. Your intellects have become so broad and unlimited. The father comes and opens the locks on your intellects. You recall the incorporeal world and the subtle region with your intellect. This is the corporeal world. You have now become Trikal Darsi. You know the three worlds and the three aspects of time. These are detailed matters. In a nutshell, there are just the two things. Remember the father and your inheritance. Everything depends on your chart of remembrance. Live at home and interact tactfully. Remember the father and the inheritance. Keep a chart of how long you stayed in remembrance. You definitely receive the inheritance by remembering the father. Everything the father tells you is easy. However, some of you should at least make the effort to remember. Maya makes you completely forget. Some daughters in bondage are so good that even though they live at home, 
they stay in yoga much more than some maharathis do they remember sib baba a great deal sib baba liberate me from sorrow they know that they are to receive the kingdom of heaven from sib baba even if they leave their bodies while remembering baba at home they can receive a very good status your wood can cook a cross with the faith mine is one and none other they are beaten so much you would probably never have seen such a spiritual gathering where women, where women are beaten would anyone be forbidden to go to a spiritual gathering there are so many spiritual gatherings here innocent women are assaulted so much obstacles are caused this has continued since the beginning akasur bakasur brackets devils used to take daughters and they were beaten for wives there must be something in that even though good children open centers while they are moving along maya attacks them to the father is also dharmaraj he says i am the death of all deaths at amritsar they have the immortal throne but they don't understand the meaning of that the father says i am the death of all deaths those demons of death would take one or two with them the father says i will take all souls back home and so you should therefore be happy people have been performing devotion for half a cycle but no one has been able to go back home you not take everyone back home people say that god is the death of all deaths and that he kills everyone however i don't kill anyone i liberate you souls from your bodies make you beautiful and take you back there is nothing to be afraid and afraid of in this many children are afraid of dying it is those who don't have full yoga who are afraid we are making preparations to go back home baba has come to inspire us to make preparations and to take us back home so will you not become residents of heaven they say so and so became a resident of heaven however no one goes there heaven is in bharat dead was in the golden age how could there be heaven in the iron age they print in the newspapers so and so become a resident of paradise and they feed that departed soul there are so many good things brackets to eat in paradise So what food would you serve that soul he has already received salvation so why do you give him food from here and make him impure you children know that baba is now truly giving you teachings to take you to the land of nirvana you should go in happiness you should break your relationships with the old thorns everything that the father tells you is easy Simply remember me you should have a lot of happiness in this The father says if you want to know about super senses happiness ask my children about it You create your reward for 21 births with the effort you make now If you don't make it now it is all finished The race is very important everyone should make effort The father say children gain victory over me You say baba mama bap dada pita sri This baba is also is studying with that one Say baba is teaching you This one was a householder and a businessman You should not think I came later and so I cannot run ahead The mother and father say a worthy child is one who follows This mother and father are also effort makers. It is the mother and father who inspire you to make effort. You are the mother and father and we are your children. Therefore this one is also dead one's child. This one was a householder and you are also householders. 
it is very easy as for the kumaris it is their great fortune he quickly saves them you mustn't climb the ladder of the five vices there is the example of bhishma pitama who was celibate from birth this is raj yoga you know that you are making effort to claim the future kingdom mama and baba also make effort and claim the highest status of all they claim that status in the previous cycle too baba says beloved children make effort to become the masters of our throne you say mama baba and so why don't you make effort if there is any difficulty then tell baba about it because of this i am not able to make that much effort the father is the eternal surgeon if you have any difficulty then write to baba or personally come and ask the father about it the father will advise you the main thing is to remember the father and the inheritance this is enough in a nutshell make effort to attain liberation in life in a second remember baba to such an extent that at the end you don't remember anything else continue to forget your household you say the destination is very high and you want to become a master of the world in war people make so much effort to conquer a limited kingdom you become the masters of the world of heaven what more do you want there is no other father in the world as sweet as this one however you have forgotten the name form time and place of that father truly shiva is the father of our souls the creator of heaven and so he would definitely give us the inheritance of heaven would he not you have forgotten this the arrow can strike anyone in a second he truly is the unlimited father and he has come to give us our inheritance he is the creator of what of hell you would never say this the father is the one who makes you into the masters of heaven we quickly go and catch hold of his hand he has entered an ordinary old body the father says all the children have become senseless impure worshipers i come and make them worthy of worship from worshipers this one was also a worshiper he used to worship narayan they have shown lakshmi in the picture massaging his feet the father doesn't tell you to wash his feet and drink that water the father says first is lakshmi and then narayan so i massage the feet of the one who becomes lakshmi he says to the old mothers you have been stumbling around so much for half a cycle at first devotion was unadulterated and it has now become adulterated you have become tired the father had the thought i should go and create a new world the father is jani jananhar brackets knower of all secrets he says these poor things have been doing devotion for half a cycle and they are now completely tired death is also very harsh they will kill each other the father is knowledge for however he says i i too am tired by a bond i know that the children are very unhappy the five vices are clinging to them he now reassures you your days of happiness are going to come now follow shrimat and you will become the most elevated of all the father is the highest on high all the rest are creation brahma vishnu and shankar are not called god only the one father is the supreme soul brahma vishnu and shankar are residents of the subtle region in the pictures they have placed a shivalingam in front of the images of brahma vishnu and shankar because they are the, they are the children they don't know this either 
You children have now received divine vision. You should remain very happy that you know the beginning, the middle and the end of the whole world. You are claiming the inheritance of heaven from the Father. Simply remember the Father. Live at home with your families. There is no question of renouncing anything here. The cow shed had to be created at first. How else would all of them have become clever? The Pandavas were told to leave their country, brackets in the Mahabharat. So this cow shed was created. You now understand that you are changing from thorns into flowers. Why should we not sit on Baba and Mama's throne? Baba also says, follow me and claim the throne number wise. Ask your heart, do I remember Baba? Always check your chart every night. For how long did I remember the Father throughout the day and early in the morning? Remember the Father and follow Srimad. Don't break one another with thorns. Lust and anger are the main ones. Conquer these and all the other smaller vices will cool down. Lust is the greatest enemy. Because of lust there is so much fighting and quarreling and violence. Some say Baba our children make us very peaceless. In heaven no one will trouble anyone. There even children will trouble any will not trouble anyone. Therefore now remember the father and the happiness of heaven. That's all. We are now to return home. Acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number one run in the race to win the throne of the mother and father follow them completely Number two, break your relationships with the old thorns and make this faith firm. Mine is one and none other. Blessing, may you become complete and equal to the Father by becoming an embodiment of every virtue and power. The children who are to become complete and equal to the Father are also constant embodiments of remembrance and all the virtues and powers. Being an embodiment of something means that, you are, that your form becomes that. The virtue and powers are not separate from you but are merged in your form. Just as weak sun scars and weaknesses over a long period have become your form and you don't have to make effort to imbibe them in the same way, let every virtue and every power become your natural form. You shouldn't have to make effort to have remembrance but just remain absorbed in remembrance and you will then be said to be equal to the Father. Slogan The word Baba is the key to all treasure so always look after it carefully. Slogan The word Baba is the key to all treasures so always, took, always look after it carefully. Om Shanti